My brother, what's up, man? Good, man. Long time no see, brother. What's up? You good? Yeah, I'm good. I don't have any complaints for a teenager. How you how you living on that end? Man, good, man. 60 is all right. Yeah, would you say 60, huh? 60 is all right. Man, I thought you was about 48, Fred. You talking about 60. Wish it was 48. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Fred, what, what would you do different in your 40s, man? If you could roll man. back. Yeah, I'll just be, you know, just, you know, I think it's really more, um, I think it's more, because I've kind of done everything I've wanted to do. Right. You know what I mean? That I could do. You know, I left it, in every age, I left it on the field. So it's like I, I go back, you know, I think that question is loaded. It could be, what would you want to happen at 48 yeah. <laughs> as opposed to what would you do if you were 48? Yeah, I did it when I was forty eight. I did it the way I was supposed to do it. Yeah, and so, I, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think I think the biggest thing, and let's just be one hundred. Let's keep it one thing, as my kid, my son said. I think being black man, yeah, the mortality rate knocks on your door, especially when you see your friends at forty nine dying and. Right. You know, and then 52 dying and, right. you know, you really, like, okay. Yeah, yeah, hey. <laughs> you know, just the thought, just the thought, because when you were at 48, you yeah. ain't thinking, you ain't thinking no. you out of here no way. No, Unless you I, get some, a bunch I, of people I, died at, at 42, then you like, Yeah, <laughs> you ain't thinking about that. You know, I grew up in the inner city, so, you know, we had brothers die in the late 20s, early 30s, and, you know, I just recently turned 50. So, for me, my dad died at the beginning of last year. And so it was just to the point that you just said, you started thinking about the people who were in front of me are gone. And it's like, wait a minute, I'm now at that age my dad was when I was younger. And yep. so those people before me are out of the way. And I'm thinking like, whoa, every day is really valuable because I got more behind me than I have in front of me. Yeah, that's it. That, that, that's the word right there. Yeah. I got more behind me than I do in front. Yeah, yeah. never thought, never thought I'd get to that day, Fred, because it looked like this age looks so far off. I remember when my mother was thirty-two; she turned thirty-two, and I was like, yeah. "Wow, yes, you, you in your thirties, right?" <laughs> and now, shoot, man, we didn't blew past that. Yeah, we didn't wave. We waved at that. That is that is long gone. I saw an article just today that came out and said most Americans say that the average age, if they could be frozen in time, would be 36. Yeah. You know, Good in age. those 30s. Yeah, because I thought, yeah, in the 30s, you're kind of thriving. You kind of got the childish nature out of you. You're making more mature decisions, and you're really kind of enjoying life, you know, in the yeah, mid-30s. Yeah. And that, that, is good, that is true, man. That 36 was, was a nice one. It was yeah. nice. But I, I gotta be honest with you though, that 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 40 was nice too though. It was real nice, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, we were in the middle of the uh one love cruises at the time. So really life was real good. You know, Ooh, we, we were rolling nice with yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, but I gotta be honest with you, I, you know, I still was, you know, I, I was trying to figure it out in the 40s though. And yeah, one thing yeah. I love about it now is I done figured it out. Yeah. I done figured it out. And and, yeah. and I'm like, you know what? At the end of the day, all of the foolish stuff that I thought was the thing, it ain't the thing no more. It ain't that. No. No, you you really put life in perspective. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, I'm excited that you're here with me today. Like I said, it's been a minute since we had the chance to catch up. But as always, I want to celebrate you for the giant that you are in the gospel music industry from the days of commission uh, to Fred Hammond, Radical for Christ you know, to the pages of life, you know, one and two, to all of the great CDs that you brought us, even to the love CD that you brought us, Fred, because you took, you know, you've been a pioneer in so many ways and you've helped so many people in the industry. I just want to love on you and appreciate you, man, for being consistent. And every time that we've interviewed you or met you or been in the same place with you, you've always been the consistent brother that's always so cool but you've always made an impact in this industry, man. I just want to celebrate you. Thank you, man. Thank you. I, uh, I just never wanted to be stifled. And you know what yeah. I'm saying? I never wanted to have chains on me 
to that said I could only do it one way or right. say it one way. I always wanted to find the Bible makes it clear. He said, Paul said, I become all things to all, all people. people. Yeah. You know, so that I can win a few of them. Yeah. You know, so. And you know what I love too, man? I, I want to celebrate you guys. I talked to Kurt just a couple of days ago. And when you guys were able to go and do that versus, man, and represent, you know, for the kingdom. Yeah. You know, that was a great vital moment. And talk about that. What made you do that, you know, to go and join Kurt in that, in that moment? It was funny because when it first came out, you know, I heard about it and I'm, you know, I'm around a lot of millennials, you know, I'm around, you know, that, that work with me, that I give opportunities to do things. And, mm -hmm. and they were like, yo, um, you need to get on that versus, man. You seen that they doing this now, man. And I'm like, oh, what is that? They're like, yo, it's like so-and-so. I forget who the first one was, but it was like, yo, so-and-so and so-and-so got on and they play their hits. And they showed me a YouTube or something of it. Yeah. And I saw the rivalry, but, you know, like, I saw the friendly kind of, you know, you my man, but I'm about right. to bust your head, <laughs> yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was funny, too, because, let me tell you something, I thought about it later, and I was about to, I, I was about to do it, do this on, on, that, on that day. And uh, I was going to say, you know, Kirk, before we get started, I just want to tell you, man, thank you for being such a pioneer and a trailblazer right. for the culture. And I am so grateful to be here today as the OG. Um, and I want to say this, Kirk, in all Christian love and in humility, you were about to get this smoke. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to put that heat on. Because listen... <laughs> Man, Fred, you and your Kurt, y'all got hits and hits and hits. And I remember, I laughed at first. Yeah. I laughed about it because we 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 have it friendly like that. And I thought yeah. about it after. I said, man, that would have that would have been a riot, right? Because people didn't know what to expect, and they don't know that as gospel artists, we're regular people, right? And we laugh, we tell stupid jokes. We all yeah. on the thread. Yolanda, yes, Donnie McClurkin, Israel Holton, Marvin Sapp, mm -hmm. Kirk, all of us are on a thread that we can kind of be ourselves about to talk about right. anything. Yes, we can sir. talk about religion to red hats and mm -hmm. we can say what we feel about all of it, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, it's a, it's a safe place for us, but they don't know, no. that, man, we regular people. We just have, no. we made a choice to sing about something, but back yes, to sir. how it happened. I was against it. I wouldn't even talk about it. Oh, you know? wow. Why were you I against would, it? I, I wouldn't even talk about it. I was like, man, you know, let's just be 100. I mean, I got some stuff. I got some legacy. But to me, the way I'm seeing it presented, then I watched another one and another one. And I saw, you know, that it was a thing. You know, it was like, man, these yeah. people are like against it. I said, man, I don't believe the gospel is supposed to go against the gospel right. like that. And I'm, I'm, I'm not for it. And I'm going to tell you, I got text after text after hit after hit. You and Kirk, you and Kirk. You, it yeah. was like they was calling was out. They was calling out Frazier and Ali. Yeah. I was going to be Ali. And um, <laughs> it was like, y'all just, I'm leaving me alone. I don't believe in that. I, and yeah. I was totally against it. I wasn't going to call him. He and I would be on the thread. We'd never discuss it, ever. Wow. And uh, George Floyd got killed. Yeah. And we saw it. And I was very angry. I was in tears watching. I mean, I was... I was like standing up at the TV just screaming, no. Mm -hmm. And I'm watching this dude die. And I just, and I'm wondering, does anybody else feel like this? And the whole world did. And then I got a call and it was Bishop Jakes. Um, but by that time, everybody knew. Kirk didn't want to do it either. Oh, wow. He didn't want to do it either. He didn't want to do it either. Just period. And I got a call from him, Bishop Jakes, Timberland, and Swiss. Mm -hmm. And he said, yo, Ninja, you know why we call it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. And then T Swiss said, hear us out, bro. Mm -hmm. Hear us out. We need healing. And we need to bring the country together. Mm -hmm. It's not a competition. We just want to celebrate y'all, and y'all yeah. can help lift us up. Yeah. And when I did, when he said that, I said, "Count it, was yeah. in, we're on." And it was that was an amazing honor to be at 
the age I am and to be counted amongst the best to do it. Yeah, that man. They pick, they pick, there's no, there's no, there's no, yeah. there's no mystery or secret that Kirk mm -hmm. is the top of the game for mm -hmm. gospel music of all time. There's no, mm -hmm. but then to put me in the same room to say, and we want you to be there as well. Yeah. And I, that, I was emotional itself because I don't look at myself like that. Yeah. You know? And most, most people never do, you know, but when we go back mm -hmm. and we open up your catalog, Fred Hammond, from like I said, the beginning days, the commission days to, you know, your solo thing or with Fred Hammond, Radical for Christ and all of the CDs that you made from there. If we go back and open up your catalog, man, you one of the best to ever do it. I mean, God, you think about the penmanship and you, I know, I know you won't celebrate yourself. I get it. But I'm telling you as a brother that the catalog that God has blessed you with has touched the lives of so many people, even as you see on this live people just saying how the music has blessed them how the music has encouraged them. Yeah, your yeah. catalog stands up there among the gospel and, and you know what know you... And, and... Yeah. go ahead you know what man and i can be honest with you there's a lot of people that you know and and, and it's, it's, it's a christian thing i guess mm -hmm. that people do this false humility like oh lord i just want to be the living servant that you called me to be and i don't want it i just say i'm just a i'm just a to toenail dust in your shoes oh god you know yeah i mean it's like you know really and that's yeah. that but they really know <laughs> yeah but right. i did this and i did that right. i literally respect the work that god has yeah. given me to do yes but i don't never look at it like that because i'll be honest with you i was like Anybody, and I've kept saying this to everybody. I said, let's just be 100. Anybody that goes up against Kirk Franklin is that's suicide. That's mm -hmm. career suicide. You it's can't. A lot. It's like, it's like you know, you just can't do that. And I say, yeah. I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going to play myself. And yeah. that's what I was saying the whole time. But literally, me, Kirk Timberland, and Swiss were in tears on a Zoom call. Mm -hmm. we were angry. And they were like, man, we were going to do this, and uh, we need healing. Yeah. And we were literally, each one was in tears on that thing. Yeah. And I was like, let's do it. Yeah. And yeah. then at that point in time, Kirk and I got together and said, Fred, let's give the people a show. Let's go back and forth. And I said, I come to your spot. Let's do this, that, and the other, and boom, boom, boom. And, man, it was just an amazing day. And when we got yeah. finished with it, we just both sat down and exhaled like, yeah, wow. Yeah, because it brought, listen, happened. I'm telling you, man, you could feel the healing. You could feel yeah. the peace. You could you could feel the joy come through that moment. You could feel that moment of release. Everything that was needed in that moment was brought. And God placed you two guys in Swiss and Timberland's mind because, you know, yeah, how man. God is. He already know yeah. the moment. He know, know, knows what's needed for it. And I'm just here to tell you, man, I was I was proud as a person in the in inspiration industry to see that that these two brothers these two giants in the industry would take the moment out and not look at it like a competition and just say hey man let's let's play the music that god has given us yeah that's it yeah but you know i i gotta get ready to jump on another zoom um, yeah let's let's jump 10. into this man you know we we get into our conversation i definitely want man, to we talk can go. about this yeah be this, two hours. i know you know how we do it i want to talk about surviving williams tell us about this new a series that's going to be featured tomorrow. Man, I have been a, a a person that has always thought that film was something that I would do. I, I studied it in college uh, and I loved it. I, I loved the thought of directing and I thought well, maybe one day I might get to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, computers made it a little bit better for us. Digital age made it a little more accessible to us. And I was an advocate to fight for uh, gospel music artists to have concept videos. Mm -hmm. I was an advocate. I, I would fight my record companies to say, and they would just say, no, nah, no, nah, it, 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 it costs too much and nobody watches them and we don't have no place to play them. And um, I always thought there has to be a reason. People have to see the reason why we sing. Right. And if you go back to where I really started doing it, I started doing it on records, okay? If you wasn't going to be able to hear it or, I mean, see it, then I was going to put it in your mind like old school radio. So if you go yeah, back to yeah. On the Winning Side, you go back to On the Winning Side, 
go back to perilous times. Do, 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 an early morning. Yeah. And you hear right before that, we do a skit of right. a school shooting. Right. That was my first time starting say, I'm going to start to do it. If you go to God, Love, and Romance, mm -hmm. you hear me play it out because I said, if I can't do a movie, I'll do it audio. Right. And now we're here with it. And I got my own gear, my own equipment, and I'm shooting stuff. Uh, and now I have Facebook and all these other places I can play it. And Surviving Williams, I had about a year and a half ago. Um, it's about a family of which I play the uh, now the patriarch because mm -hmm. I'm the oldest brother. It's 10 of us. It was 11, but one of our sisters died. We're all older and we're trying to figure life out. I have a beautiful wife, stage wife. Her name is uh, Rolanda Rochelle. Everybody knows her as the cougar. On, on Country Wayne, yeah, yeah, you know, and um, she and I, she and I are like the stable part of the family, uh, good black family and everything. But we're in a pandemic. If we're in a pandemic and we're fighting through, like everybody else, and we're just showing people another way to to think about um, mm -hmm. what's going on. And in this episode, this is the second episode. The first episode was called was back about a month and a half ago around Christmas. It was called An Ex Miss Carol. Okay. Play on A Christmas Carol. And uh, at the end of that, my uh, my character, now we're picking back up, you know. Yeah. I'm not sure. Did I freeze? Yeah, picking back yeah. up. So now I was going to keep it all comedic and, and funny and, and all yeah. that stuff because I, I'm funny as money. Yes, sir. Yes, That's you are. You, I give you funny that. As you money. are funny. Yeah. You know, and um, man, I really wanted to keep it funny uh, because I have another series called The Choir that I'm about to release as okay. Digisodes, and that ain't funny. It's edgy. It's a lot of Christians gonna be a little <gasps> appalled because yeah. I'm gonna show, I'm showing where the ratchet is, right? And that the the road to righteousness is through the ratchet. But this, I want to keep it light. I want to keep it Bernie very, very Mac. You know, just yeah. have fun with it. And the Lord said on this episode. I want you to talk to the people about COVID. Since you've had it, you've experienced it, and your family's had it, you've lost friends, you know what people are going through, everybody can kind of see, but I don't think people realize the depth. So we deal with family issues of a wife that cannot see her husband, who now deal with medical bills, now deal with the fact that she's trying to keep it strong, and, the, and all the brothers and sisters are trying to keep it strong, and then there's another sister who runs home to see her brother because she gets the call that he's about to die. Mm -hmm. She runs home, but she's an outcast of the family. Now she walks into a mess and the house is going back and forth trying to figure it out. And they yeah. got to figure out how to raise money. And Sam is in there dying alone. Wow. And I just said, okay, I'll tell the story of people that, yeah. uh, that experienced this. It was very emotional, yeah. man, on set. Yeah. We had to stop a lot and just, yeah clear our head, wipe our eyes, and say, okay, let's shoot it again. And, uh, oh, man, it's, it's a beautiful piece. So it's called Surviving Williams, March the 6th, which is tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Central, okay, 9 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, don't worry about it if you miss it. You, you ain't got to miss it because it's on demand. All right. The first, the first hour that people see it, it it'll lock you out. If you don't get in there now, it's going to lock you out. Yeah, okay. And then if you miss it, I'm going to put it back up. You can watch it back. You can watch it on demand. But watch it with me because I love being in the comments. Yeah, man. I love yeah. seeing the comments and, and going back and forth and letting people know, blah, blah, blah. So it's it's a good work, you know. And until yeah. Netflix and BET and them call me. I gotta you make your own. Show. Yeah, you make your yes, own. Sir. Now, how can everybody get the link, Fred? How can they uh, watch it? Uh, go to my Instagram page. You go right when 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 we finish or when your show is finished. Go right out of here to Instagram and go to Real Fred H. Yes, Hit sir. Hit me at Real Fred. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do like this. I'm gonna say, "Hey," and that's gonna be me. Everybody gonna see that, and they yes, gonna sir. see that. I'm gonna hey, repost it as that's well. Hey. hey, that's I'm him. Hit you. Hey, Fred again. is in the building. Is the bishop me? Yes, the real Fred Hammer. Real Fred H. Yes. And once yes. you hit the real H, go up to my bio, press the link. And we and it's on the popping to take you to the ticket and whatever. Bro, listen, we're gonna have to do this again. I gotta bring you back on because we got a lot to talk about and catch up with. Will you do me a favor? 
And shout yeah. out to uh, Amy Walker. She's a big fan of yours. And uh, uh, she wants to just hear Fred Hammond say, hey, Amy Walker. Amy, Amy Walker. What's going on, Amy? Hope all is well. Have an amazing day. I Have an amazing that. day. All right. Yes, sir. Man, Fred, I'm you... jumping on the other call. All Love right, man. Die. Love you. We'll, we'll catch up, man. Appreciate you, Fred. Bless you, brother. Bless you.